Welcome back to Tech Space tutorial video. In this video, I will show you boosting your processor to make the computer performance faster and this will also fixing any kind of lag issues, low FPS problem while gaming on your Windows 10 and Windows 11. Let's start the video. First, open the Windows search bar, type create a restore point and press enter. Now, here at the bottom, you will have to click on create. Name the restore point Windows Optimization and click on create. A restore point is a saved snapshot of your Windows system allowing you to return your PC to previous working state in case of system failures or issues. So once it's been done, you have to click on close and click on ok. Now next, click on your Windows search bar and type msconfig. Then you can see system configuration. Click on it. In the system configuration window, Go to the boot tab, then click on advanced option and here you will find number of processors. If it is unchecked, then do a check mark and select highest number of cores available. Once you have done, click on OK, click on apply and click on OK. Now a pop-up view will appear to restart your PC but we can finally restart after completing all the steps. So click exit without restart. Next we will disable power throttling to improve system performance. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard and type gpedit.msc and press the enter to open the local group policy editor. Then here you will find computer configuration. Double click on it. Then go to the administrative templates. From there open the system folder. Then you will find power management. Click on it and open the power throttling settings. Now you can see turn off power throttling. Double click on it. This will bring up the another box. Now here you have to choose enable. Then you will have to click on apply. Click on ok. Now you can close it. Ok. Next go to the windows search bar and type performance. Then you can see performance monitor. Click on it. Now here from the left side you will find data collector sets. Double click on it. Then click on user defined. Right click on it, hold up to new, choose data collector sets and name it as windows optimization. Then you have to choose create manually. Click on next. Here you have to check the option of performance counter. Then click on the next. Now click on add and here make sure this is being selected to processor. Then below you have to choose the maximum instance that is available. Then click on next and click on finish. So now you can see windows optimization has been added and it says uh, stop. You need to make a right click on it and click on start. Alright so once done now you can close it. Next click on your windows search again. Type choose a power plan and click on it. Now here you will find different kind of power plan. So I would recommend you to select the high performance. On the right side you will find change plan settings. Click on it. Then click on change advanced power settings. This will bring up another box. Then you will find processor power management. Click on the plus icon. In the minimum processor state, the setting will be 0%. Then click on maximum processor state. And in the setting keep it to 100%. Now once you done, click on apply and click on ok. Now is the final step. Go to the windows icon and right click on it. Then click on task manager and then click on startup applications. And here you have to disable all kind of third party application. So exactly what happened. Whenever you turn on the computer, these application get started automatically. They run in the background and occupy a lot of CPU resources. So once you have done, go ahead and restart your computer and your CPU performance will be surely boosted. Ok, I hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget subscribe and like. I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.